Hi Gemini, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot with your love reading for January 2018. Happy New Year to you all. So if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, please visit my, my website, moonpietarot.com. I have two special readings going on right now, the 2018 New Year Ahead for Love, or whichever else, and how the other person feels about you. You guys can also follow me. Please follow me on Instagram. Twitter or Facebook for weekly general readings at Moon Pie Tarot. Or if you want to get in touch with me directly, just download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. You can call me on the app from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern time for instant readings, or you can chat or text me to get quick answers. Okay, so I want to let you guys know that I am now using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck from Jennifer Galasso. This is my new deck and I'm hoping to be using it all year long. I do have another deck coming in, um, but that hasn't arrived yet. So let's get started. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, or Rising. Sorry for the blur, it'll clear up in a minute. So your overall energy, Gemini, is the Four of Wands. Some of you could be getting married or getting a proposal for marriage. Um, and this is a card about rejoicing and celebrating achievements um, and also a milestone in a relationship. So this card can depict a romantic setting where two people profess their love. Okay, so, and this is for you ladies, this is kind of like a knight in shining armor coming through for you. Um, and if you're male, um, you could be the male who's offering that to a uh, beautiful woman okay uh some of you i was think picking up some of you could be attending i know it's january but you could be attending a, a wedding or a ceremony or a family function that's that will bring a lot of joy and happiness also so your past position is the eight of pentacles so you've been working very hard at either your career or working very hard on a relationship or just you know having this energy of just really staying you've been focused in the past year on on the tasks at hand and what you've been doing trying to create either you're trying to recreate yourself or create yourself or put energy into your your home life um doing all the tasks keeping up with that you haven't been slacking at all gemini and Gemini's really aren't known to be slackers. They're, I, I, I honestly, I'm sorry, I have to fix that. I honestly have never met um, a Gemini that was lazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to fix this because, of course, I have this black background and it makes everything blurry. It's so annoying and I'm so, it's not very professional, I know, but I guess it doesn't want to work. So I'll go through, I'll hold up the cards. So your present situation in January is the Queen of Swords. So this is you. Here you are, staying in your element. You're being honest. You're truthful. You're cutting to the chase. Um, you're actually not putting up with any bull from anyone. And and as I said, staying in your element. It's not really like you to take shit from anyone. And you're gonna keep going with that. You know, there's no stopping you. You um you only will accept truth and honesty from people. Um, you don't like backstabbers. You don't like people who are lying to you and you're being above board and upfront, male or female. Now what's challenging you is the king of pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with male or female, an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And this person is in the challenge position for you, okay? They might be a little bit difficult to get along with or you're having difficulty understanding them which is kind of nuts because gemini's really do understand the psychology of people and they really do get what makes people tick i mean it's just automatic for them but even if you do get this person they're in the challenge position uh it's a benefit for you because there's something that you need to know about this person that you're trying to get to the truth about and they are probably making things a bit difficult for for you or will be making things difficult for you in um the present for you now this earth sign could be uh could be anywhere in their chart it doesn't have to be uh you know their sun sign it could be anything but this is this could be someone of your age, okay, or doesn't have to be, it could be, or they could be an older person, 
but you also have and i wanted to say when i when i was looking at your cards you have some key players here and i want to talk a little bit about these people um what's driving you is this king of swords so there could be someone significant in your life that maybe was in your significant in the past and still is another air sign um but this king of swords you know they're just like you they're that's i almost kind of feel like some of you could be married and there's um someone trying to or in a relationship and someone's trying to intervene okay or trying to uh get involved or get caught up or trying to make a move male or female uh if you're involved with someone but you're sticking to your king of swords person your your whomever whomever this whomever it is that you if, if you're currently involved whomever you're currently involved with um you're sticking with them you're not trying to let anyone come between them if between you if that's the the situation or if that's the case for you um now it could also be the other way around where some of you are in a relationship and you may have an interest in an earth sign and you may want to take a risk to be with that person but i i'm actually going to clarify the king of pentacles and the king of swords and i don't always clarify in that position but i want to know why this king of pentacles is in the challenge position and and why it's a benefit for them to be in that position for you oh goodness gracious now you have the queen of pentacles to clarify so you could be dealing with you could be already in a relationship and this person is also but they or some of you have um are involved with someone and then you you both have a um a friendship with another couple who are being very difficult or it could just be family members uh you know like if you have a brother who's married or if you have a sister who's married or or whichever or, or on your other or on your partner's side some of you if you are single uh you may have been trying to establish something with the king of pentacles and the challenge with that is that you know uh, you are i i just feel like or or you, or you find out that that person's married or you are there's just like a lot of there's a lot of people here happening in your life there's a lot of people happening oh my goodness this king of swords now i clarified with the queen of wands i'm telling you i shuffled this deck like there's no tomorrow you have a lot of players there's a lot of risk here somebody's trying to take a risk about something or, or a be take a, like a foolish risk or there's some kind of foolish energy that's happening uh someone maybe thinking about maybe either stepping out of a relationship or stepping out of a marriage or allowing someone to intervene or thinking about this because i don't have any wands oh my gosh you guys i was clarifying the fool and now you have the queen of cups i don't know what's going on i think we what do we have them all queen of cups king of cups queen of pentacles king of pentacles queen of swords king of swords all we're missing now is the king of wands so yeah there's a lot of extra marital affairs not affairs i want to take that back there aren't any affairs happening here i'm not seeing any of that i'm just seeing a lot of people being involved in your life right now gemini and and to what degree i mean i could keep clarifying so i think i will uh these could be people that you work with there there's these are these are all people who are you know older people in their 40s and 50s um that you are involved with okay so clarifying the queen of cups and the fool the eight of swords give me a sec 
Okay, there's a lot of secrets surrounding this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles. And that's why they're in the challenge position. There's something that you may find out about someone that you're dealing with, that either they're married or they have another partner and they've been hiding it. And you're gonna find out about it. This King of Swords could be someone from your past that you're still thinking about, but they are in a relationship with a Queen of Wands. All right, and the deal with them is that it's coming to an end <clears throat> with the Five of Cups. Uh, you know, somebody's very distraught. One of the other is very upset about this relationship or this connection, and maybe you're interested, but you've got someone else who's trying to infiltrate either your marriage or your single life, okay? Or you are partnered with a King of Swords and they or you find out that they have been messing around so there's a whole lot of there's a lot of deceit happening and i think you really need to be careful who you trust this month and what people you're dealing with because i feel like you've just been doing all the right stuff and you've been fo either focusing on your marriage and trying to make it work but you've just been, I feel like you're an innocent bystander in something, Gemini. I feel like people could be saying things, this Eight of Swords situation, whatever. It could be like this Queen of Cups person could be, uh, be a tattletale or could be saying things or accusing you of things and, uh, you know, uh, causing your reputation to go into the gutter for no you have to be very careful that's really what i'm getting i see you in the near future just kind of bowing out like you're with this uh four of swords you just kind of like i'm out of here i'm not dealing with drama i see a lot of drama and you deciding to stay single or, or to stay on your own especially if you're involved in a relationship like i just see you maybe you're just going to take a trip or retreat or just get away i see that happening here with the nine of pentacles this is she's on her own she's intent if you're single you're intent to just stay self-sufficient to keep working you're going to keep doing what you're doing what you were doing <clears throat> but this there's a whole lot of people <laughs> coming for you in January that are going to get involved in your life and you 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 don't want the drama you just don't um your <clears throat> position here is the lovers you just want happiness right and this is two people making a decision to be together but your advice I feel like whatever's going on you need to you need to off lift lift off this burden that you're carrying with all of these people because they're putting some pressure on you and some issues are happening that are putting pressure on a relationship you could be dealing with someone that has a lot of people in their life and you know um, there's a lot of secrets surrounding them and a lot of um, gossip or people trying to inter intervene and you don't want that you're like this is coming to the end of that burden you're not look at that horse like he can barely even get up that hill because there's just so much junk on his back and you're just like no mm -mm. and this is the gemini card so here you are you just want to be happy with your partner <clears throat> that's always what you wanted but you could have a partner that's bringing drama and bringing drunk into your life um, as well so you may have some decisions to make and that that could be where you just decide you know no I'm just staying on my own here I'm just not I can take care of myself thank you very much that's kind of your your energy now the energy that's surrounding you ten of swords there's definitely betrayal and it could have something to do with an empress figure or someone there could be news someone could be pregnant and that could have this 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 is like a soap opera that could have something to do with all of these people getting involved now or someone may have gotten you pregnant gemini if if you i don't feel like you were playing around um i feel like actually this is another person who's dealing with someone you i feel strongly that some of you could have found out that maybe your partner got someone pregnant or uh someone that's close to you uh, could be saying 
to your partner if some of you accidentally got pregnant in a third party affair but there's betrayal happening i all the readings i've <clears throat> excuse me given so far have been great and these this one is just blah this is like you could sit down with a box of popcorn for this reading um someone feels betrayed outside of you or someone's bringing be, bringing uh stabbing in the back uh, outside of you so your energy really needs to be cautious and here you are you want the truth this is your hopes and your fears so you you are like as i said you were behaving with the queen of swords there you want the truth i know a lot of you are going to leave comments and say well can the queen of wands mean and can the you know um can the queen of swords represent and you're gonna you i knew you're gonna try and put all this together and just remember this is a very very general reading as as all of them are and if any of this <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry if any of this resonates for you in any way request um a personal reading for me and we can get down to what actually specifically for you what's going on but here you are you're ready to cut through the bull you want the truth and you're going to accept nothing less than that and with the seven of wands you're in defensive mode you're fighting back in the sense that you're not dealing with whoever all these people are that are coming after you to try to take you down or do whatever it is they're trying to do now your outcome card you have the king of cups and with that is the seven of swords so there might also be someone coming into your life who is a water sign <clears throat> cancer pisces or scorpio and you can this person cannot be trusted even though they're in the upright they come across as someone who's very sweet they come across as someone who's very mature they have it together a bit reserved with their emotions they're older as well but they have the seven of swords and this is someone who's going to try to take advantage of you or take from you they're they're like a thief in the night they're deceitful so this really you need to take on this energy for this time period for january is to have your guard up <clears throat> for all this emotional chaos that's coming through whoever this king of cups is could be a family member could be anyone they might come across to you and and you know say i'll help or i'm here and i can let's talk and whatever but you i wouldn't put your trust because this is really what they're what they're giving out is deceit i think it's i think really the advice for you is to just get away from this drama keep focusing on work um but going into february watch out <clears throat> because i feel like it will continue just a little bit more uh, something is happening this could just all have to do with family and uh, a lot of the, i see chaos and, and and issues happening with family or groups of people or people that your partner's connected to or someone new coming in who has a lot of connections and there's just a you know you have to just be careful who you get involved with if you're single keep your eyes open stay true there's there's could be some narcissists here happening you could be dealing with a narcissist or someone obviously i mean if they're cheating and they're lying and doing all that stuff then there's just this whole thing is riddled with um self self with deception and this is a terrible reading <laughs> i'm sorry but at least you're getting some advice here about how to handle this energy coming forward um i know you want a lovey-dovey unicorns and roses but i think it's really important the message come through that you know you know you might even have i keep going you might even have someone who want who just gives you all this oh you're the best and you know i want to have a baby with you but they're actually betraying you or they're betraying someone else in their life so i think january even though you have this four of wands and i was saying about someone making a proposal or a knight in shining armor be careful be careful of what people are telling you um, and what you know what they're saying because there is someone who's being deceitful in this <sighs> There you go, the devil. There's someone who's being deceitful and they cannot be trusted. So keep your eyes open and peeled 
for what someone offers to you. It might be best if you're single to not date in January. Wait and see how February plays out and just stay focused on your work. Uh, and if you're in a relationship with someone who is, you feel you and your partner are good and there's all these other people around that are getting involved or someone's coming in and, and trying to mess up your marriage, be careful of the, this person. Someone could come in and tell you your partner's cheating, right? Or, or whatever, you, ever. it could be lies. It could be this king of cups, even though they're showing up here in the end. They could be, their energy could be here, but they, you could find out it's this person who's been deceitful or who has been, maybe they're messing around with a lot of different people as well, but masking themselves as different signs, right? Or coming across with different energy. So, you know, keep your guard up, seek the truth, find out the truth. If you have to dig, do it, but keep yourself completely like, lift this burden off of your back and focus on you know yourself and what you're doing staying self-sufficient your work your career your business keep focused on that and just drop out of sight for a little while so you don't have to deal with this the truth will come out eventually it will you will find out the truth so don't get your heart wrapped up in anything with anyone even if it's someone coming back into your life that energy is still playing out could be a capricorn here Ugh. Anyway, if you need a personal reading, you know how to reach me at moonpytarot.com. And, and if it resonates, definitely leave me comments and let me know if any of this is playing out for you or, or if I've even come close or touched on anything because I would be very curious to know. Even if you could tell me who all these different people are, what your situation is that's happening, I would really love to know. Okay, Gemini, good luck with everything and I will see you in February. All right, thanks. Bye.